Okay, everyone, in order to make chicken fried steak and gravy, uh, the ingredients that you will need to use, everyone, well, the ingredients that I'm using is cube steak meat, as you can see here, okay? And in this packet is six pieces of meat. You will need some all-purpose flour, an onion, some seasonings, I'm gonna use some chili powder, just a little bit of turmeric. You don't have to have the turmeric, you can't omit that, but that's for my purposes. Some onion powder, some slap your mama's Cajun seasoning, some ground black pepper, some granulated garlic powder, buttermilk, regular whole milk, two eggs. That's all you're gonna need, okay? So those are the ingredients that you will need. Oh, I'm sorry, I left off my chicken bouillon cube, everyone. So these are the ingredients that you will need to make your country, 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 <laughs> chicken fried steak. I love chicken fried steak and gravy, so if you like chicken fried steak and gravy, then this is the video for you. Let's get into this video. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to flatten out my cute steaks. Here I have two pieces of parchment paper. I've laid my steaks on it. Country fried steak um, with cute steak has to be tender, but also we want it to be a little flattened, which will make it bigger than you normal. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I am going to this work this cute steak meat. Now you don't have to do this because a lot of people don't, but for presentation purposes and to make it look, look like the way they do in the restaurants, I'm gonna do it like so, okay? Okay, everyone, so now I have my meat flattened out, as I told y'all was going to do. Okay, so the meat is flattened out here, and now I'm going to season it. With the seasonings that I showed you, the black pepper, the garlic powder, the onion powder, the chili powder, the slap your mama Cajun seasoning. You don't have to add salt. Um, and Yet, I would do that at the end when I make the gravy. Don't want too much of MSG because the slap your mama seasoning has salt in it. So just season both sides of your meat like so, okay? So we're gonna do season both sides of our meat. So I mixed all that seasoning together and that's what I'm doing, seasoning the meat with it. So, and let's move on to the next step. Okay. So with our next step here, we have our eggs, okay? And with our eggs, we are going to go in and we are going to add some buttermilk to our eggs. And we are going to beat this together. Okay, so now we are going to take our cube steak meat that we're using to make our chicken fried steak with. We're going to first dip it into our flour, like so. You're gonna press the flour in, okay? Then 
Then next, we're gonna make sure it's coated good, okay? Then the next step is to dip it in the egg wash. And then back into the flour. Okay, I am done battering my cube steak meat for my chicken fried steak. I am going to allow this to sit in the fridge for about 25 to 30 minutes before I would get ready to cook it. So while that is sitting in the fridge, I am going to chop my onion. Okay, so I have my onions uh, chopped and ready to go. This is about, um, that was a large onion, so I used about one fourth of that large onion and I'm going to add the chicken bouillon cube to my milk and allow that to soak while I am frying our chicken fried steak. Okay, so once your oil has heated up to temperature, you're going to go ahead and you're going to place your chicken fried steak meat into your skillet. Always face it away from you, okay? Gently lay it down. And you're gonna fry it the same way you do chicken. And this will take for about five, four to five minutes. No longer than four minutes, I'm gonna tell you. About four minutes, okay? So I'm gonna, it's thinned out, so the only thing we're gonna look for is a nice golden brown color because the inside is gonna cook because it's thin. And you're gonna fry this on a 350 degree temperature, okay? And all you have to do is just let it fry. You just flip it, see that nice golden brown color? That's what you want. beautiful color that's what you're looking for this beautiful color for your chicken fried steak okay now if you don't like the um thick crust you can leave that buttermilk and egg wash off This is my second piece, and I'm gonna cook this second piece and let you guys see it. And then I'm gonna cook the rest off camera, and then we're gonna move on to making the gravy. everyone so this is my last piece of the chicken fried steak okay now we're gonna get ready to make our gravy okay you guys so in order to make the gravy for your country fried steak I am going to use some butter I'm gonna place some butter into this pan that's about three tablespoons a butter right there so use about two to three tablespoons of butter okay 
And for each tablespoon of butter, you're gonna use the same exact amount for your flour. Okay, so now you're gonna have to move quickly with this and keep your eye on low heat. It's gonna take us a minute and we just wanna cook the flour, okay? You don't want to brown it like we do with brown gravy. You just want to cook it, okay? We cook some of that flour taste out. This will be a simple um, roux base. As you can see what I have here with the butter. Just cook your flour like so. And cook it for about three minutes. Three to four minutes to cook the flour taste out. That's all we're going to do. And to this, while the butter is cooking, and the flour, I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions. I could have sauteed them first, but you can do it together. I honestly forgot y'all. I wasn't thinking. So get that about three minutes. And when I add the milk in, I'm gonna add it in slow to thin it out. And the onions will finish cooking. Don't be like me, don't forget to add your onions. Cause that's what I was supposed to do first. So give this a few minutes. And then I'll be back after these three minutes. I wish you guys could smell the aroma of the butter and the onions with this flour cooking together. The aroma coming off those onions are whew, Oh my, it just smells so good. I love cooked onions. I, I, I eat raw onions in my salad or something. But cooked onions in a gravy to me is just bomb. I know this is not a brown gravy. This is a light skin gravy, a white gravy, y'all. But that's why you're going to build your flavors in it. Um, the basis of the good flavor in this is black pepper. A pepper flavor okay so now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna add in the milk just a little at a time not a lot we're gonna constantly stir it in okay so let me put that in stir it because you don't want it to stick and clump up and I have it on low for that purpose now I'm gonna see how it's thickening up now I'm going to add in some more of that milk. And that chicken bouillon is going to help give it a good flavor, y'all. So that's why you put some chicken powder, chicken bouillon. Um, better than chicken bouillon flavor if you have it, okay? If you like brown gravy, you can just cook that flour off more to make a brown gravy. You can use a beef bouillon as well, okay? I'm gonna let it thicken for a minute. If it gets thicker, too thick, then I add some more milk. But you thin it out to your likeness with the milk. That's what you do with this kind of gravy. Okay? And give it a minute to start to simmer and you'll see if you need to add um, any more milk. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to season. Remember, black pepper is the base for chicken fried steak country gravy, okay? So don't be skimpy with the black pepper, okay? So the way this thickening, I wanna add me some more milk. It is a thick gravy now, remember that. It's not a super thin gravy. Okay, so that should be enough for the milk. But you'll keep pouring the milk as it go along till you get it to the thickness that you like. But you don't want it thin, okay? And now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that Slap Your Mama seasoning, okay? Cause we wanna give this gravy some flavor, okay? If you would like at this point to add a pinch of salt, you can. But I wouldn't because 
remember that chicken bouillon has salt in it. So, okay, so here is my gravy. Okay, for my country fried steak and gravy. Let me get a little closer for you guys. Let me take this off this stand. That's right, this is our gravy. Some people call it sawmill gravy, but this is our country fried steak gravy. Look at all this seasoning up in there. I told y'all this was gonna be another good one, and I tasted it. It tastes extremely delicious. Let me go ahead and plate this up for you guys. So let's get a piece of this beautiful country fried steak. If you guys have never had country fried steak, you should try it. It is extremely delicious. Like, if you love southern fried chicken, you're definitely gonna love country fried steak. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put this gravy on here. And you can serve this with some biscuit and rice or some biscuits and some mashed potatoes along with a good delicious whoo, side of greens corn on the cob it'll take your breath away i promise you now whew, i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna top this with some parsley y'all mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. yeah i did that mm, it tastes good ah. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time i upload a video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm about to get ready to finish my dinner i just wanted to show you guys how to make some delicious chicken fried steak with white gravy or so i might say sawmill gravy and it's very tasty and delicious like i said before i hope you guys try this recipe you will like it you will enjoy it your family will like it ladies trust me your man will enjoy it so go ahead and go on to the store get you some of that cute steak and get to cooking for your man peace y'all have a great day and thank you for joining cooking with tk